Today, a COVID-19 vaccine clinic was held in Denver geared towards the Muslim community. And our Michael Abeda was there. He joins us live now from Denver. Michael? Well, Kathy, I've covered vaccine clinics at Ethiopian Christian churches, in Latino neighborhoods, and now here at the Colorado Islamic Society. And the goal is the same, bring the vaccine to these communities so that any apprehension people might have dissolves. We've been witnessing a lot of apprehension around getting the vaccine. Colorado's first ever Muslim lawmaker, Representative Iman Judah, says that she needed to help the people in her community feel comfortable getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So the state set up this vaccination clinic at the Colorado Muslim Society. Offering it in a place where they felt comfortable with Arabic speakers, with Muslims not only administering but helping translate was something that could help ease that frustration. Hundreds of people came and got their first or second dose. Governor Polis even stopped by for a tour. He says outreach clinics like these that come to neighborhoods and faith centers are helping protect Coloradans. I think the, 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 the large focus on equity clinics uh, is really having an impact on Colorado, uh, making progress towards achieving our equity goals to end the pandemic and save lives. And it wasn't just Muslims getting vaccinated Sunday. People from all different backgrounds came to the mosque to get a shot. Both Representative Judah and Governor Polis say it was a great opportunity for non-Muslims to get to see a mosque and get to know their Muslim neighbors. It's a great way that the Muslim community and many of the volunteers here today are from the Muslim community can give back to everybody else. The process here has been wonderful. Charlene was one of those people. She says the Colorado Muslim Society did a great job hosting. And getting vaccinated gives her peace of mind. It's kind of crazy who's ever been so excited to get a vaccine, but I was happy to get it. Now, Kathy, one thing I did notice here that was a little different from the other ones I've covered is that they had an area where people can get vaccinated in private. It came in handy when a woman came up concerned about her modesty. They were able to usher her in there to get her vaccination where nobody could see her. In Aurora, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. That's terrific. Thank you, Michael.